Hello, awesome viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to the channel. As you all know me from ZN Group, I have taken VB Script tutorials, basic to advanced. So I'm continuing that tutorial. So I just want to make ZN Group as a gaming group and as her techno coder, as a coding and a technical group. So where I can where I can teach all the coding stuff like VB Script, Java. Python, what are the languages if I have worked on, and also the technical stuff, what and all the daily activities, all the tech stuff. So moving on for the today's topic, today's topic will be for loop patterns. As you can see here, I will be explaining this kind of patterns we can use, a triangle one and an inverted triangle pattern. So these are the most common asked questions in an interview. How you can create a triangle using VBScript? How you can create an inverted triangle using VBScript? Inverted triangle made up of numbers or triangle made up of star symbols, etc. So let us see today in a simple example of how we can address that. So, Today's agenda, today's pattern agenda will be simple. Pattern agenda will be how to create a triangle shape using VBScript numbers, numbers, VBScript with, we can just write with, with numbers, star symbol, star symbol, and a single digits or or a symbol, okay, or a single star symbols, numbers or star symbol, right? So let me save this agenda for you. Let me close this. Let me write a first pattern. Not, it's not a pyramid, it's a triangle. Let me write the first example here, how it looks. As you all know, a for loop has a sim similar, so for loop has a syntax in VBScript, right? For, so I'll, I'll not explain much in syntax, but while write, writing a loop, I'll tell you how the loop is, right? For i equal to 1 to 10, or maybe 1 to 10, we can write it. So I want to type, okay, first I'll show you what I want to exactly get in a triangle. So triangle, I want to, I want to type like this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. So this becomes a triangle, a straight right angle triangle. So let, let's let's go to a program then. For i equal to one to 10, now we need another for loop to execute. Let me remove the, uh, let, let me remove, uh, I'll, I have already removed a comment. So let us take a j loop, j equal to, one to i because I we, I we want to type as many values according to the i value. We want to type, we want to print j value according from with respect to i value. So let us take temporary variable temp equal to, let me expand this, temp equal to temp ampersand j ampersand space. Let me store for the temporary variable for every J loop, and we we have to um, we have to omit we have to delete what not present in temporary variable after each I loop. So let me take another main temp variable. So main temp which will store the temporary variable for the entire right angle triangle main temp ampersand temp ampersand 
VBL is VBL is VBL is a is a next line statement. It will it basically acts as acts as a slash in of uh, C language. It acts as a enter from the keyboard. As simple as that. Fine. So let me print a message box main tem. Let me save this as a pattern one. Save as as pattern one dot vbs. Save this. Close this. So let me execute it. Okay. Uh, so yeah, as I told, I have to. We have to clear them from each and every I loop. That mistake I made it here. Let me solve it by giving like this. Tem equal null. So save this. Close it here. And we got one pattern. See, it's a pattern of one to ten. It's a right angle triangle. Let me close this. Let me create a inverse triangle. So let me just copy this. Let me paste into a new. I don't know why it's not going anyway. <laughs> so just save this here. Paste it. So if you want a inverse right angle triangle, right? So we just have to type i equal to uh, ten to one because it should come in a reverse way, and step minus one for decrementing value. So entire thing will be same. We have to click on save as, so it, it will be a pattern two dot vbs. Let us click on all files, save it, close it, and then double click pattern two. We got a inverse right angle triangle. That's a reverse right triangle triangle, right? So what if I don't want One, two, three, four numbers. What if I want only one number as a right angle triangle and an inverse right angle triangle, right? So my code will change a little bit. Let me copy the same code. Let me open the new tab. Let me paste it. So it will be one to ten. Remove step minus one. Instead of J here, uh, concatenate a string value which will be one, and save this as a pattern three. Pattern three dot vbs. Put put this as all files. Save this. Close it. Double click it. Now we got a right angle triangle of one. What if I want right angle inverse right angle triangle of one? So let me copy the let me copy this code because this is similar similar to that type of code. Uh, let me open new tab, new text document, save it instead of J. Let me just start one. Save as save as pattern four. Pattern four dot vbs. It should be all files here. Save it, close it, and you got here inverse right angle triangle of a number one. What if I don't want number one? I just want any symbol, star symbol, star right angle triangle, star inverse right angle triangle. So let me copy this code. Close this. Let me edit it, paste it. Instead of one, it will be a star symbol. Save as pattern five dot vbs. Close this. Close it here. So we got inverse right angle triangle of Star symbol. So we we don't want we want now right angle triangle of a star symbol. Simple. Copy this code. 
I'm just copying for, for the video purpose, for the demo purpose. So you guys who are watching this, my awesome viewers, please uh, go through the code entirely, try it by yourself. If you don't get it, let me know in the comments below. I'll anyhow, I'll be explaining, uh, I'll be putting the entire code in the comment section. So for you to refer, try a little more, try playing around with the code. So before that, so this will be a right angle triangle of a star symbol from one to 10. So try, try playing around the code. And uh, you, if you if you get more and more patterns, be, please put it in the comments so that uh, I can have future videos in of more patterns. So anyway, let me double click patterns. So here you can see right angle triangle of patterns. Okay, let me close this. So I have explained you a very uh, in a nutshell, a simple pattern concepts of VB script using for loop. So we can use many loops for different kinds of patterns. So patterns which I have used here are basically like this. Right end triangle pattern, inverse right end right angle triangle pattern. By using symbol, star symbol, ones and uh, numbers one to 10. If you guys like my video, please uh, do subscribe to the channel. I'll also give uh, the link of a playlist of my VBScript tutorials from ZZen group so that you can go through that also. And please uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new viewer. Thank you so much for watching. Till then, take care. Bye-bye.